14. Right. Okay, I have these. They are cut out 10 by 7 contrasting fabrics. I have elastic. Um, I'm using 6 inch for a medium mask and 7.5 and for a large mask. All right, so put the good sides together. I start with putting the elastic right there. filming yes okay uh, line up my fabrics Turn the sewing machine on. I usually double back over the elastic just to make sure it stays in. Get to the bottom here and reach in, grab that elastic, pull it around. Again, double back over the elastic. All right, then this one. Straighten that out. it grab a new elastic for the other side get that in Reach in, pull the elastic around. All right, and then I'm gonna go about two thirds, little maybe three quarters of the way down this side. Threads. All right, and then I'm going to turn it in right side out. Put, make sure I push the corners. All right, push it all through. Okay, so I have this opening here. So I'm going to use the uh, the top other side as the top. And I want to put a wire in there. I happen to we for some reason we save these off of the 
um, off of bags of coffee. We have no idea why we saved them, but it's turned out to be really handy. I've cut them into this length. I fold this in half, mark the center with a pin. Then I center this and make myself a mark with the pin just so I know how far I need to stitch. Basically, I'm going to stitch a little pocket um, for to hold the nose piece. So I'm going to stitch down and across like this and stop. Then I'll pass the nose piece in, slide it in place, and then I'll stitch it closed. Okay, so I have this little little pocket here. So I will put this in, shove it down to the end, and just work it into that pocket. Slide it in. Okay, so I got it in the pocket, and now I'll just stitch that little pocket closed. Come on. St snip my threads. Threads over here. Okay. Um, now I want to stitch, I just want to stitch across the top here to, so this holds together nicely. I'm going to stop because I've got to the nose piece. And I'll just go past it to right there. I like to get the threads cut nice and short because I imagine if it's long, it's going to tickle someone's face and be very annoying. At least I know it would annoy me, so try to be good about cutting those. Okay, so now the top is stitched and I've got the nose piece in place. Now I'm going to close up the bottom. Just grab that, fold it under. Right. And you can pin it if you need to. I've done enough of these. I don't really need to pin it. I'll just start here. I'm going to stitch all the way. So now, let me cut those threads. Okay, 
Okay, so now, now we need to pin it and t uh, make the tucks. You need three tucks on the side so this fits tightly. So I'm gonna come down about, oh, I don't know, an, an inch or so, and I'm going to fold and tuck, try and hold that in place, grab a pin, All right, and we're going to do three of those. It takes a little practice to get it right, and you might have to pull it out and, and redo a couple of times uh, before you get it. But this is about my, I don't know, 25th mask or so. And then the last tuck. Okay, and then we're gonna just stitch down on both sides. Pull this back in. to go back over the where the tuck is on each one just give it a little extra strength Okay, now, now I will just, I'll trim off these threads and I'll iron it so it sits nice and flat. On the back side, I'm going to label bottom left corner that this is a large. With a Sharpie marker. All right, you got your tucks. Again, iron it, snip the threads, and it's done.